I don't know if you've taken a look at my selection of tools over here, but you may have noticed this one. This is a bottle opener. And why do I have that? For the beer, of course. Now, this beer isn't the type of beer I would typically put citrus in, but it's the one that I had. First, we taste. Tastes good, but you know what would make it taste even better? A little bit of citrus. So for that is a lime. How I used to cut lime wedges is from the north to south, like this. But let me show you something. Inside, you'll see this white line down the middle, a membrane or something like that. When you cut wedges that include that membrane, it can be tougher to squeeze. If, instead, you cut along the equator like this, you'll see all of the individual sections of the lime versus this. Now when you cut your wedges, there's not that tight membrane there. See the new method versus the old one? The new one will actually come apart into pieces. The old one does not. So I think this one is much better for putting into beer. As I put it in, I squeeze it against the neck of the bottle and then give it the good old thumb trick. Stick your thumb in the bottle and turn it upside down. This will float the lime up into the beer. Make sure to twist your thumb as you slowly remove it or you'll spray beer all over yourself. Now you have a beer with lime in it. Tastes good. But back to the wedges. The wedge with the line in it is actually better for putting on the side of a glass. So let me show you how to do that. Grab the lime that was cut north to south and using your knife, cut into the middle of it. You don't want to cut all the way through, however, you're just trying to make a slit. You don't want to come out the backside. Then, when you cut your wedge, it will have the perfect slit so it will fit right onto the side of your glass. Two more tips for cutting wedges. Consider cutting wedges in half. It will make it easier for people to choose exactly how much citrus they want. And if you don't have that much citrus around, it can help stretch it a little. Lastly, a pro drinking tip for when using wedges is to use them as a drink counter. Leave the wedges in your glass to know how many you've had. So there's one drink, two drink, and five drinks. So if this is what your cup looks like at the end of the night, you know you've had a good night and you shouldn't be driving anywhere. Another nice decoration is a wheel or a slice. Start with some citrus that has been cut along the equator and cut a thin slice. Then cut a slit for it to go onto a glass. As you can see, I cut this wheel a little too thin for that, but you can also just float it on top of the drink. That's pretty as well. The problem with this lime is that it's so small and it's difficult to get a good grip on. You can always put it flat and cut horizontally if needed. But here's a little thicker wheel so you can see how nice it looks and voila. By the way, your knife should be sharp since we just taught you how to do that, but if it's not, you may find it easier to cut citrus with a serrated knife. In case you don't know, serrated is just a fancy word for jagged. Lastly, you can also use these wheels as a garnish for food. Just separate the cut sides of the wheel like that. Ooh, fancy. In review, we got juice, we got peels, we got flamed peels, we got exciting sparks, we got oils all up on our cups, we got a cute little spiral, we got a wheel, we got a wedge for garnish, and a wedge for beer. That is citrus. Cheers.